Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Um, I hope everybody had a nice holiday season. Um, I took two weeks off for Christmas and for New Year's. Happy New Year's everyone. Welcome back. I'm happy to be back. For those of you who have not already, please subscribe. I am almost to a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited to get there because there's things that YouTube will let me do uh, once I get to a thousand. So thank you, thank you for subscribing. Um, for those of you who are not new, you'll notice that I'm using a new deck today. I am using the AE weight. I've been talking about the Rider weight and their images for a long time. Now I have this uh, beautiful rainbow holographic um deck and i just love it um i got a crystal ball here um so for uh those of you who don't know i'm also an author i'm writing an action adventure uh, love story based on twin flame superheroes and it's based on my life and my twin flames life there's two books in the series so far it's called perception the two yet one books one and two uh, you can find links for my books in the description box, and I'm reading book one aloud live on Facebook and then uploading it here uh, to YouTube. Um, I've read up to chapter 16. There's 18 chapters, so I'm almost done. You might want to check those out. Um, also, in the description box, you can find a link for my friend April's astrology channel. And if you are looking for uh, a personal reading, you can find all the information in there as well. For those of you who are new, I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will as a being, and I read major arcana cards, such as this chariot, as messages about your divine blueprint, which is the plan that you made before you incarnated in order to learn certain lessons, okay? So let's get into this. Here we have your energy right away, Leo. Um, the energy of fire. This is wands energy. This is the knight of wands in reverse. Um, this is some sort of interruption, some kind of discord, um, maybe division. I'm just feeling that this with the chariot card together, there's some sort of, um, like, not really war, war, but there's some sort of dispute going on in your life here. Something that's very passionate, um, but someone who is, I feel like this is, they're, they're going to war, all right? Because the, um, the chariot is uh, a bunch of stuff. It's like moving forward. Sometimes it's um, getting a new car. It's definitely a movement. Um, card. These are both movement cards. You see this, this knight charges in and so does the chariot. Um, but this, it's, you know, they're, they're both in armor. This is, um, some sort of, a quarrel or dispute perhaps. Um, so... It could be, for some of you, you already had this problem and, and you're victorious. Um, but I see other things here uh, that make me feel like there's more to this, okay? Because at the root of everything, you we have you. Okay, this is your card. You've come, you are, your energy is in this reading. A great deal okay you've been having to be strong you've been having to um, to really wrestle with yourself about things see how I just feel like this see this is Archangel Ariel she is the Lion of God okay um, she this is the number eight she is eternal so it's like, I feel like this is your spirit and this is your body, okay? And your spirit is trying um, to tame what's going on with you. There's something that you're having to be strong about. You see what I'm saying? There's there, So I, I think that it's this, there's some sort of conflict 
that's very passionate. You have several wands in here that I can see already. Okay, so you have earth, you have fire. I don't see any cups. Just earth and fire. Okay, no air, <clears throat> which is um, intellect and communication. So you may not be doing a lot of communicating with whoever this is about. Okay. Um, let's see what else is here. What we have, uh, this earth energy in reverse, this seven of pentacles is what is moving out of your life at this time. Okay. So this, this is, um, anxiety about money. Okay. So you've been anxious about your money, but you're not anymore. You're feeling better. Okay, this energy is moving out of your life. So this is a really great, great card um, to have in that section. Okay. All right, so the next energies, the next two energies that we have up there are um, these two. They're both wands. This is both your, this is en your energy again, Leo. Okay, so... Um, I don't know if you can hear but uh, in the background, but there's a movie going on in the next room, and it's a battle. I don't know what movie uh, they're watching, but it, wow, it's it, it feels... There is a battle going on here. Okay? So these two are future cards, okay? Um, here we have the Five of Wands, which is a battle. Look at that. This is a conflict. This, sometimes is, this can be um, constructive, like, but I, I don't see that with this. I mean, a constructive battle would be like sparring in order to get better at the martial arts that you under, that you, that you're learning. But if you look at these faces, they, they look, some of them do look emotional they they do look angry there's some sort of battle going on uh some sort of drama there's fighting going on and it's very passionate okay so there's more of this drama and fighting um in your future and then the the next future card here we have this uh king of wands in reverse now he's he in reverse he's this He's basically the same as he is upright, which is, you know, he's, um, he's a go-getter. He knows what he wants. He goes after it. He has lots of energy. Okay. He's very passionate. He can, he has a fire sign. He has, he can have a fiery, uh, temper. Okay. But, um, in reverse, he's, he's a bit more austere reserved okay he can be a little bit more uh severe with his temper but he's still re relatively tolerant okay so what i feel is that this is going to happen first and this is going to be you in response it just um out of the three fire signs um leo you seem to at least the leos that i've known you You've seemed to be, you know, pretty fair people, okay? You look at you down here. You're trying to tame yourself. You're trying to understand this um, with, you know, wisdom, uh, trying to understand this quarrel going on like like the king that you are. Do you see what I mean? You're, you want to come out of this... Um, still being respectful, still uh, being respected, and still um, with your dignity, okay? So you know there's a bunch of fighting going on. You know there's a bunch of war, drama, or whatever going on around you, um, and you're hoping to be the boss. You want to stay, you you want to have boss energy, okay? You You're masculine energy you're hoping to um 
to be a benevolent ruler of your world. Okay? Now, um, for some of you, this could be you're hoping to see your father or you're hoping to become the boss of something because wands are uh, career related, okay? And you do have this right here where you were worrying about money and you're not anymore. So uh, with all these wands um, and, and wands and pentacles, this could be, mo this is talking mostly about your job and what you're doing uh, for a living, it is affecting your money. So you might be hoping to be the boss. Okay, this is fatherly uh, Aries energy. Aries is also fire energy. So there is a lot, a lot of passion in this reading, Leo. There's a lot, you have a lot of passion for what's going on. Now, this is your environment or state of being. And the tower is a, a shocking moment that changes everything. It can be an epiphany. It can be an occurrence. It can be, yeah, a bolt of lightning out of the sky, okay? But when it's in reverse, it's not as bad. So to me, this is this... This is this war that's going on, okay? There's something, you know, the, the tower is falling, but it's not as bad as it could be, okay? So there is, um, the, the tower is this battle that's going on, okay? Also, for some of you, this could be a cancer. This is the card of cancer, as this is your card, and the emperor is the, the card the Aries is uh, the, the Emperor card as well. So there's this, something is um, being destroyed to be rebuilt. Could have something to do with new ways of thinking because they're showing me this crown getting knocked off the top. So this is doing something to your crown chakra. It's... Um, this, uh, this could be an epiphany, an epiphany. Now, this is your fear card, okay? Now, this upright, this is when you're working hard, okay? This is the master craftsman. Look at him, he's working, he's getting things done. And upside down, this is just telling me this is, see the suit cards often speak to one another. And what we have here is a progression. They're both upside down. We have the seven and then the eight. So um, you're almost there, especially if you're trying to be the boss, okay? You are almost there, and so this is upside down. This is you worrying about money. As a fear card, uh, this is you being afraid that this is going to remain. You know what I'm saying? This is you being afraid that you won't have a job at all, maybe, okay? Or that your income is going to cease completely. Now, what we have here is the um, outcome. And this is the page of wands. Okay, this is so much wands. Wands and pentacles. Um, now, Pages are young people. There could be someone who's that's young in your life. It could be another fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius. But they're they're young people. They're also messengers, okay. And but he's in reverse here. So this is some sort of news that isn't good, okay. Um, maybe some sort of announcement or whatever. Um, indecision and instability, okay. When this is surrounded by other cards of such, this this is indecision or instability. So I'm feeling this is some sort of instability that's going on for you right now. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, an underlying issue, we finally have another suit. We've got the page of swords, okay? Now swords is intellect, okay? This is the mind. And uh, this is a spy, okay? I just feel like somebody's spying on you. Or they're asking you to spy on somebody, <clears throat> which could be why you were afraid of losing your job, maybe. Um, 
this is somebody watching you on social media. Um, this is somebody who's sly and cunning and possibly manipulative, okay? Somebody who is, uh, who can say cutting things as well. All right, so since this is such a passionate reading um, regarding, like, war or conflict, I'm going to, um, I'm, I've begun using my oracle cards to clarify at the end, and we're going to use the angel answers today. I think that that's what is needed here, um, some advice from your angels because this is, um, this is a lot of conflict. Okay. So I've already pre-shuffled them, but, you know, I'll shuffle them again. All right. Angels, what can we tell Leo? Either something more, clarify, or reiterate an important message. What else can we tell Leo? Whoa, 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 that's just way too many. Something to reconsider and look for a sign. Yeah. All right. There's something that you... This... I think this is supposed to be Archangel Michael. Look at... He's surrounded by blue. To me, this is him with the sword of truth and protection. Okay? So, this deep indigo is very much um, the brow chakra. You already know what to reconsider. Uh, your intuition knows what you're supposed to reconsider. And um, Spirit wants you to look for a sign. Now this is telling me, is speaking to this tower in reverse, okay? Look at how, you know, there's this, this itself could be the sign. This tower moment could be the sign that you're looking for here, okay? But if it's not, uh, not, it could be that something similar to this is, you're, you're going to have an epiphany. Once you see something, it's going to make sense to you. Okay, so let's see if we can get one more before um, we finish this reading. And I go grab my Virgin of Guadalupe that just fell behind here. Angels, may we have one more card, please? One more card for Leo. Um, something. Okay, thank you. Oh, two more cards for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay. So, something about no with romance. Um... Yeah, okay, so now, you know what I've been looking for lately, I've been getting these where when you get this Dove of Peace, this is, this is no with an exclamation mark. Look at that. Okay. It just, there's, if you're thinking about a romance with someone, uh, it could, it, it could be that this is the quarrel we're talking about. Or it could be a romance at work, since I feel like this is such a, a reading that has to do with work. But this this isn't just the Dove of Peace, this is a bird, and now I'm looking at birds like messengers. And that's exactly what pages are. You've got the Page of Wands, and you've got the Page of Swords. You've got two of these here. So I, I just really think that there is... Um, there's going to be some sort of negative message, perhaps, when it comes to romance. Because look, at, I just noticed underneath this page of swords, we've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, this, this, yeah, there's something going on here. So 
All right, um, how much control do you have over this situation? I gauge that by the, the number of major arcana to minor arcana. Like I was saying earlier, the uh, major arcanas are um, your divine blueprint, which is sort of like destiny, whereas the others are free will. Okay, so you have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so four out of ten cards means that there's a good chunk of this that you signed up for okay this charging forward maybe taking care of your life yourself okay this was meant to happen this is a challenge that you set up for yourself before you incarnated this strength or um this battle with yourself this this is supposed to happen too, so please pay attention to the lessons that these are bringing as well as your hope here um, for either uh, a, a father fig figure, an Aries, or perhaps you being the boss. This is very prominent as well as this lesser uh, tower energy is supposed to happen, okay? So all of those things um, are very major occurrences, so learn from those and be careful of this uh of a, maybe you shouldn't be having a romance at work um yeah look for a sign the sign is going to clear everything up for you all right leo that's what i have for you at this time see you next time